Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning, Figaro. We got an inch and a half of rain last night, guys. Look at this. Uh, it was coming down like cats and dogs while we were sleeping. Hearing that on the tin roof <laughs> makes you sleep good. Uh, come on, pigs. Did you like all the rain? I bet you did. Oh yeah, look at their buckets full of water. There we go. You're not supposed to touch the fence. Well, flip it with your nose when I toss it in, why don't you? Ah. Oh, pigs. The stage the pigs are at now, they get pretty pushy. Figaro's on the hunt of something. Ah, oh, there we go. Go ahead. You know where we're going. You know where your brain's at. You're not supposed to poop on the milk and stand, girl. I think I need to start coming out a little bit later for milking. The goat is still sleeping when I come out. And she doesn't have her time to do her morning business, you know what I mean, before she gets on the milk and stand. You don't like being woken up and getting right on the milk and stand? You gotta get up out of bed earlier then. Yeah, you do. Thank you, Willow. She's not having it today, guys. You woke up on the wrong side of the bunk bed. She did. Old faithful lately, you're always sitting right here waiting. You were one of the least friendliest goats. Yes, good morning, Hope. We didn't forget about you. You waiting out here for us, Figaro? Oh my. Willow's definitely in heat, and that's why she's acting the way she's acting on the milk and stand. <sighs> Fall is here. Animals, the goats are getting in the rut. The leaves are falling. As long as winter doesn't come for a little while. We don't got all of our firewood stacked yet. We're getting there, we got half of it done. One half is done. You ready, Pluto? Let's go. Come on. The new automatic chicken door is working great, guys. We got it set to open up at 6.45 in the morning. The chickens get out, whether we're out here or not, and then it closes up at dark or the latest 7.30 is what we have it set for right now. So, they really like it. Oh, we gotta come up with our coop or put these guys in the winter greenhouse shortly. Mm. 
Come on, a moose. It's nice seeing all your feathers growing back. Oops. guys didn't see two videos ago, we've got some liquid iron on our post and beams and gave them that patina look. And then yesterday's video, or the last video, we unboxed our new saw and today we get to use it. We're gonna start with getting our walls, the sheathing up for our walls. We're gonna be using 12 inch wide pine shiplap. We're gonna be going vertically on the shiplap in here. We're not gonna be going horizontal like we did in the milking room and I'm not doing the nickel spacing. We're gonna leave them tight. But that's gonna look so nice, guys. So nice. <sighs> All right. That'll get some light in better. So today, we get to figure out how to do everything. <laughs> ah, we're gonna be using liquid nails and our finished nail gun. This will probably be a little slow going at first, but I think once we get it figured out how we're gonna do everything, we'll get some tricks underway and it'll go good, so. This corner, which is going to work perfectly, is pretty much going to be right in line. Bam. Sweet. So if we cut the first one to whatever length we need it, and then just 45 that tip, I think that'll fit perfectly, guys. We'll get a few up, and I think you'll see what we're doing. 50 and a quarter. One of our viewers sent us a PayPal and said, hey, go get yourself a new tape measure. So we got ourselves a new 16 foot tape measure. This one's the Craftsman. It's got the lock on it, so it automatically locks. You push the button, boom. We have Craftsman because that's what our local Lowe's is pushing nowadays. We're able to find the shiplap from one of our local sawmills. Holy moly, I was hoping I could get it to slide, but oh, you know what? It's still strapped in. It ain't gonna slide. What was I saying? Oh, we're able to get this shiplap from one of our local sawmills for the same price, a little bit cheaper than the cheap plywood, believe it or not. So. Yep, that's why I can't move it. It's still strapped. That'll do. Watch your eyeballs. There we go. There we go. our board to 10 inches first. Uh, let's go a 10 degree back bevel. And let's go. So 
close to cutting it through. There we go. Instead of just doing finished nails, the liquid nails will help hold it more in place. You guys get to see what it looks like from behind before I show. Let's see what it looks like standing up. Oh, I like it. We need to work on our finesse a little bit, but man, that looks good. with nails. So we'll cut the next one <clears throat> the same length, and then we'll have to do a funky 45.
love. I love it. Let's see. Yep, that's just the different thicknesses and the way the boards are lined. It's out of our control. Oh, rain, rain, go away. Come back, come back next year. Who left the spoon in the bucket? Mm, here you go. Mm, mm, mm. Yummo. Dude, you gotta wait till I open the gate. <laughs> you bonehead. There's ducks! I told you he was going for them. Come on. Keep them right there and we'll get them.
Jesse one right there. Wait, Jesse. No! No! We got him back in with Tanner's help. How many eggs are you thinking? I'm going to say 14. I'm saying 16. 16. I was three. Surprised the goats haven't come down yet. I know. Woody! Woody, Woody! Woody, Woody! Oh, now the goats come. Now we're leaving. You decide to come out. You enjoy on that those apple branches. Okay, turn around and tell me what you think. I love it. Do you like that? Yeah. Does that look cool? Yeah. Are you going to add a little piece of trim like this all the way down? Nope. We are loving the look of the shiplap pine inside the workshop. The one thing, one lesson that I learned when I'm doing stuff, I always like to learn from them. Is I would have got shiplap that was either 8 inches or 10 inches wide instead of 12 inches wide. It would be a lot easier for cutting the 45s with our sliding compound miter saw. But other than that, that's the only thing. The reason I went with 12 inch wide boards is it was a lot easier to figure out how many boards I needed. Oh, I read this quote today, guys. There are two primary choices in life. To accept conditions as they exist or accept the responsibility for changing them. Challenge accepted. Uh, change the status quo. Yep. It's one of the things I've lived my life by. If you don't like it, make the change. Uh, thanks for coming along on our journey list, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. I hope you're enjoying the workshop series part of the build projects that we're doing right now. We'll be doing this for a little bit while longer. And then once we get the workshop all done, we can start building projects. <laughs> and we'll see you right back here in the next video.